look in the teacher's perspective, okay? When you see a student staring oh, down, I, I what does it look like? That. What does it look like the student's doing if you were to kind of eliminate <laughs> cell phone? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> So, f of t equals t cubed minus 4t squared plus 4t, all right? So, what we're going to do for this problem is we need to find the zeros uh, and behavior and also the multiplicity. First thing, let's get m behavior out of the way. So, to m defer, determine m behavior, let's find the degree and the lc. Degree, remember, is your highest exponent, 3, it's odd. lc is 1, which is positive. So remember by our leading coefficient test, when we have an odd degree, that means it's either going to our odd degree and it's positive, that means it's going to fall left and rise to the right, correct? So say the end behavior of this graph is going to fall left and rise right. And that's for all, all polynomials with an odd degree and a positive leading coefficient. Okay, it works for all of them. Now the next thing is, we need to um, find the zeros. Remember the zeros are your x-intercepts, right? That means the output value, this is f of t and this is x, we want to find where does, where does it cross? So that means f of t equals zero. We want to find out where it crosses f of t is equal to zero. So I say zero instead of f of t equals t cubed minus 4t squared plus 4t. So I want you guys to think back to when you first learned about factoring. First learned about how to factor out terms. Whenever you guys are doing math problems, one of the first key things we want to tell you is always try to make the problem simpler, right? Factor out what you don't need. Factor out what you can. If you guys look at this, what do all three of these terms share? The t, right? So factor it out. It's, it's very, it's just a, you know, a pattern. If you can factor out the t, factor it out. So you're left with t squared minus 4t plus 4. Now hopefully with completing the square, you guys would notice now that this is a special type of trinomial. Perfect square, 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 square trinomial. So this equals t times t minus 2 squared. Square. All right, now let's find the zeros. So remember, zero product property t equals 0 and t minus 2 squared equals 0. Okay, solve for each one. t obviously equals 0. I don't need to solve. That one's easy. Um, here, I need the square root. So I get t minus 2 equals the square root of 0, which is 0. Add 2. So t equals 2. So t equals 0. What is that? What was the multiplicity on that? Well, first of all, is this written as a factor? No. No, how can we write it as a factor? How can you write t just as a factor? Zero. T, yeah, t minus zero. Right? But if I write t as t minus zero, does it it's still going to have an exponent or anything? No. So we'll write here as a multiplicity of one. Now here, look at this factor. What exponent does this have? Two. Two. So it has a multiplicity of two. two. Sorry? So or do you add it? No, you just say this is a zero of multiplicity one. This is a zero of multiplicity two. All right? And when we're getting into the graphing part, why, why do we care? What, what is even the purpose of this? Well, because, ladies and gentlemen, let's say I just want to sketch this graph. All right? This is why we're doing this. This is why I'm not making you guys graph. This is why I'm telling you guys to go through this. We already know that end behavior, what? Falls left, rises right. Correct? Yeah. Falls left, rises right. Don't know what happens between it, but I know that's the end behavior. Well, then I have a multiplicity of zero. And since it's, oh, I'm sorry, I have a zero at zero, but a multiplicity of one, meaning it what? Crosses or touches? Odd cross. multiplicity cross. is going to cross. Okay. Then I have another zero at two. And is that one going to be? Even or, or, I'm sorry, when it's even, does it touch or cross? Touch. Touches. Well, can I, does it going to touch like that? No, it's obviously going to go something like this. Not the prettiest graph, but you guys can see how you can sketch a graph just by that information. Does that make sense? So just knowing this stuff, you guys can look at graphs and have an understanding of what they're supposed to look like.
okay? And that's the main reason why I want you to do this, all right?